Welcome to another video. This is a features an overview of an AIM MXG 1.2 Powerboat Data Logger Kit. This is this particular kit is configured for a uh, drag race boat um, with an outboard engine. Um, the 1.2 generation of loggers um, have more flexibility in terms of how you can define the pages as well as the configurable alarms. They also have a rear camera input. So, for example, you can use any of the analog signals or the ECU signals to trigger uh, a rear camera input. So I can simulate that here just with a simple push button on the steering wheel to trigger the rear camera here. And we can obviously um, trigger the camera like that. Um, so that allows you to uh, have access to kind of a blind spot camera or you can wire it into the reverse lights of the vehicle if so equipped so that you can uh, kind of simulate a uh, vehicle's uh, infotainment or dash system. So we'll remove that button. Um, the other thing that we can see here, we'll bring the engine up to operating temperature here. So um, let's say we have... 78 degrees Fahrenheit on both EGTs as well as the water temperature. So this particular unit comes uh, configured with twin EGTs, water pressure, um, fuel pressure, uh, trim gauge here. So you can see the it's optioned with the optional LED bar graph. So we're seeing the live trim value displayed here for 150 millimeter linear potentiometer. And as I move it, you can see obviously that um, that number changing as well as the LED bar graph. Um, this is optional, however, we can configure um, the RGB LEDs here to simulate a similar effect, um, whereas the engine trims in and out, we can use these as indicators for a quick visual reference of where the trim is actually positioned. Um, some benefits to the 1.2 level loggers as well is we can freely configure some of the icons on the bottom of the screen here. So currently we're inside, and we do not have um, GPS reception, so we're, we're lower than the amount of satellites um, that are required to get a full GPS lock, so it's showing the GPS icon here. Uh, the water temperature is below a certain threshold here. We can see it's 78 degrees Fahrenheit, so we have low water temp displayed as well. Okay, so we're gonna simulate the engine running here and we're gonna artificially trigger some alarms here so you can see the logic of the way it, it works. Um, this particular unit uh, comes with uh, the Bracado um, Mercury ECU protocol um, and it's configured as such with the, the hardware for the Bracado. So we will simulate 8260 RPM and we can see that we haven't turned the fuel pump on yet so as soon as the motor starts running it says uh, with this big green warning uh, that we have low fuel pressure so we can just turn the fuel pump on like this and you can see that green icon went away that was reminding us to turn the fuel pump on. But if we actually start the engine without the fuel pump, it will, um, or if the fuel pressure drops throughout the run, it will actually show us that large screen there. So we can also um, simulate a similar type of alarm for low water pressure. However, we're not moving right now, so it's not actually warning us for low water pressure. Um, the other thing that we can do is obviously step through a number of different screens here to look at the data in a different fashion. So we can uh, have a more um, pleasure focused screen here where we have um, a dial indicator, a typical um, tachometer from zero to 10. And this is user configurable as well as a user configurable speedometer with a trip meter. And then similar data getting displayed on the bottom here. So you can see the fuel pressure getting displayed here. Let's simulate the motor coming to operating temperature. So we can see now that the motor is running, it's still showing us that our EGTs are cold. So let's simulate a more realistic EGT here, let's say 1078 degrees Fahrenheit. And we can see that we've triggered the first stage of alarm um, where both of these values are just highlighted in yellow to signify that uh, they're slowly um, exceeding or slowly increasing uh, towards uh, being dangerous. Um, we can trigger the second stage of alarm if we go above 1100 degrees Fahrenheit. So we'll say 1110, and we can see that that turned red. Um, 
drag bolts typically accelerate quite quick so um, the EGT values are somewhat lower than a steady state value which you would uh, deem to be dangerous so let's say 1150 5 and we can simulate a high exhaust temperature warning similar to that so we will bring that back down to let's say 1060 so we can see how one they're both still triggering the first stage of alarm so we'll bring it down to 1040 and that will go away for that particular one similarly we can have multiple stages of alarms for the water temperature so I will simulate the engine warming up here and we can have let's say um, 90 degrees Fahrenheit which is a typical running temperature of the engine and you can see that it's no longer blue um, we can go hotter Let's say 128 and you can see now it'll turn yellow and that warning uh, icon on the bottom that um, was originally blue and then went away now is yellow to signify that the coolant temperature is heating up we can also go much hotter let's say to 155 degrees Fahrenheit and now we are at the th second stage of alarm here and if we exceed 175 we will have a high water temperature alarm and these are all user configurable backgrounds here that we can change the color um, as well. So an interesting um, feature or a new feature um, for the 1.2 level loggers is the ability to freely change the font and the size of all the data fields here as well as the color of um, the text for each of these data fields. So that gives us more flexibility in how to visualize things. So if we step forward here to, let's say, this screen here, we can, um, at a glance, easily distinguish between fuel pressure and uh, water pressure because one, we can set the text to be green and one, we can set the text to be blue. Similarly, we can go to this type of page which will simulate kind of a diagnostic screen. We're not actually connected to an ECU right now, so we're not seeing any of the ECU data. But let's say we were, and we are in the enrichment mode for the ECU, um, where the ECU primer switch is actually on. We can see that now we have this choke icon for the ECU actually displayed, and the ECU primer switch has a unit of 5 here, or a, a numeric value of 5, which is indicating that it's still in the warm-up phase as well. Similarly, we can do for ECU parameters, let's say, Engine temperature is one thing that is available on this uh, ECU stream. So let's say we go to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. That is not triggering any alarms yet, but we can go to 165 and we will trigger that engine icon signifying that our engine is uh, overheating. Similarly, we can do um, an analogous thing for intake air temperature. That is another value that's available on this data stream. So we can trigger an uh, intake air temperature warning icon as well as um, red text for that ECU um, data item there. We can do a, uh, another thing for um, the throttle. So let's say we'll simulate some throttle input here and this is from the ECU but um, one of the features that we implement um, in all of our drag boat systems is the ability to log only on wide open throttle. So depending on if you have a wide open throttle switch on the boat, um, we do provide those as well as part of the kit, um, which are available on our website. Um, you will only have data logged. So let's simulate, uh, say a 10 second run here approximately. So we'll trigger the wide open throttle switch here. And we will log for, we can see that it's now logging, simulating that we've went full throttle um, on the, the, the throttle pedal itself. So we've done that for a specific amount of time and now we will remove full throttle and you can see that the logging will go away eventually. So now we've recorded a run because we've simulated wide open throttle. If we click memory now we can actually see that we've simulated 23 seconds of full throttle operation. If we were outside we would see the max speed max RPM and we can actually see some of the other data items as well like the max EGTs as well but this is useful because 
right when you go full throttle it will initiate the logging session and then as soon as you back off if that happens at the finish line this will give you for every single run that you do that it will give you the amount of time that you were at full throttle and then the max speed that you achieved in that particular duration of time so very useful for prop testing for um, various other setup for trim timer and things like that obviously because this is equipped with the optional um, trim sensor we can um, easily uh, look at the, the trim response in uh, the data analysis file afterwards on the computer. So we'll go back to view. Um, by clicking view we can get back to the main page here and we'll just keep scrolling through the pages where we can see other ways to visualize the same data. So this is a circular kind of 270 degree tachometer and we're seeing once again the same data shown in the middle here so we can move the trim sensor similarly uh, this one is showing a similar style bar graph that we started with this one is showing almost the same data with a few more data items however a slightly different color of the, the bar graph here and then once again the simple um, kind of pleasure style uh, display here and then once again a diagnostic page that will show kind of all the data here a useful thing is obviously right in the middle here you're seeing your your trim value and then we can if we were connected to an ECU you can actually easily see the percentage of the ECU trim adjustment on your Bricado or Mercury 849 849 um, ECU box so that makes it much more simple you don't need a four button tester anymore to check your ECU trim which is very nice and this is hidden in the data so when you're driving around no one will see what ECU trim you're actually running. Um, so that kind of describes uh, some of the optional equipment that this particular logger kit is fitted with um, which is mainly um, this particular LED bar graph here which we also have that for engine lift if you're running a 12 inch midsection with an adjustable lift um, but yeah this this LED bar graph can be uh, freely configured for pretty much any um, zero to five volt sensor so um, that is available on our website any other questions you might have if you like this video um, please feel free to comment and um, ask us any questions you might have for future videos or if you have any questions about this particular data logger feel free to comment like and subscribe so that we know um, to produce more content uh, that's useful for you um, if you're interested in buying this particular data logger kit um, especially if you're using it for a power boat or a drag power boat um, it's available on our website and the links in the description there's a card placed at the beginning of the this video that you can go back to um, if you have any other questions feel free to reach out um, uh, we'd be happy to answer them that's all that we have for today and we look forward to seeing you in another video